for Congo Tronic by Shane Book. Here is a contemporary world music that whirls the reader into the center of the action at once. Here is a spread of thoughts with a winning beat, a door held open to varieties of sound and content from multiple cultures. In these beautifully adept pages, English as we know it is not the only language we are reading, but a spread of voices receptive to webs and forms from everywhere else. It's a new poetics, but also wholly recognizable in its content. An outcry written to be heard while reading. This poetry signals a breakthrough, necessary, innovative, and emotionally piercing. Entirely windless today's sea, of these waters many names the best seemed, field of pearl leaves, for it smelled like the air in the house he built entirely of doors. Pink school door, gold of the burnt hotel, two old church blues, the abandoned bank's steel doors, singular and immovably wedged over the family's heads, though as with everything corroding, the sense of themselves slipping away in the heat, falling through the day's brightness, the way soldiers once fell upon him, walking home with a bucket of natural water, as he had been recalling the town square before the tannery's closing, he and his father shopping on horseback in the noon prasa, where they first saw a man crouched under a black shroud, what his father called a camera. His father forgot the incident immediately, but for years the man asked whomever if they remembered a camera, vegetable stalls, the butcher holding the cleaver, a horseshoeing shop, purple berries, the long cassava valley haze, fish nets, a few crab baskets and browning nets drawing by the ice cream shop, seven taverns, a small unused ferry terminal, a map on its wall outlining the island in blue, the names Good Dispatch, Lover's Bridge, pointed to by a mermaid of skin whiter than anyone on this island of Angola's descendants, her red hair. <laughs> 